There is massive outrage over the death of 31-year-old Savita, even as she and her husband begged to have their pregnancy terminated. Hospital authorities in Ireland refused as the law in Ireland, which is predominantly a Catholic country, does not allow abortion. Now, Savita's death has sparked protest, but can the Indian government be a mute spectator to the denial of human rights, which led to her death? They begged to have a pregnancy terminated to save her life. But they had the rule book thrown in their face instead. We wanted to have the baby, but because you know the baby wasn't, uh, you know, they couldn't, uh, you know, save the baby. We decided to, you know, we requested for termination again and again, but we were told, uh, you know, the law there wouldn't permit. 31-year-old Savita's death in Ireland has sparked massive outrage across India. If it is the case that the laws in Ireland do not deny a woman who's at risk of her life from getting an abortion, then the inquiry which is taking place in Ireland must extend beyond medical negligence to whether there was racism at place over here. Doctors, activists and Savita's family demanding justice. This is unacceptable by any standard. That God is that want anyone to die because they are likely to get sepsis out of this uh, pregnancy. Th these laws have to change. More than the debate of abortion or pro-life, it is a denial of basic human rights. Plus, it is imposing one's own religion on others. How can she is a Hindu woman? She is an Indian. How can the Catholic law be imposed on her? <laughs> And the debate over whether religious beliefs of the majority should influence legislation has been ignited. Ireland may not be a Catholic country, quote unquote. Its constitution certainly has a Catholic slant. The and to that extent, I think we in completely this should yeah. more than ever respect the fact that we are secular and protect it. To be absolutely direct, under current medical practice in Ireland, under the current Irish law, and just as a Catholic, from Catholic teaching point of view as well, the mother should have gotten everything she needed to save her life. But Ireland, which is predominantly Catholic, defending the laws that denied Savita the right to life. No medical specialist has said that Ireland's ban on abortion led to the tragic death of this woman. And it is outrageous, it is outrageous and diabolical that the pro-abortion lobby are using this tragedy as they so often do. A case that is a clear violation of the human right to life. Yet international rights organisations are silent on this issue. But can the Indian government continue to remain silent on a law that has cost this woman her life? As the outrage over the loss of an innocent life due to the following of archaic law speaks, the question is, is just anger enough or will the Indian government push for concrete action? Bureau Report, Times Now.